Hey everybody. Well, today, finally, my package came. I've been waiting for this model since November or sometime around there uh, when I found out it was uh, coming out. This is the Eagle 2 Space 1999 Eagle 2 from MPC Round 2 with uh, new parts, new engine assembly, and it is the laboratory pod and kit also comes with or doesn't come with you can buy separately this uh, spine booster now during the show the uh, first episode of season two uh, showed uh, showed this configuration with the uh, extra boosters and uh, that uh, was the only episode that they ever showed this in but it was a very famous episode this uh, season premiere they introduced new characters and uh, new sets to the to the show so this was a uh, an iconic i guess uh recollectable episode so they finally came out with the lab pod which was not available before and let me show you the box i already opened these by the way but because i wanted to save a little time uh also comes with uh aluminum engine bells separately okay i didn't get those uh, at least not yet, but uh, there's a booster, very nice box art, it's a 22 inch kit just like uh, the first version, so it's 148 scale, and I'm hoping you guys are getting this because my camera front doesn't look too great, but I know the video comes out better, and uh, boy they tease us with this, I wish they'd make this available, so uh, if you guys... Uh, have any pull with round two please have them come out with something like this this would be just fantastic um this kit comes with um instead of astronauts it comes with uh the uniforms of the second season so that looks like uh tony and uh tony Vadeshi and possibly uh the other pilot that uh or alan i guess alan or tony or uh or the other guy which i uh or frazier that's his name now i want to say this now and uh, <laughs> the one thing I found out about this kit that's a little disappointing, okay? This is Eagle 2, right? Because this is the second version that they came out with, and it's Eagle 2. And it's the Lab Pod. Well, unfortunately, if you're a guy like me who really followed the show, loved the show a lot, I in this episode, this Eagle was Eagle 4. And I believe in every episode where they made made special attention to the laboratory pod eagle for that episode it was always named eagle four so that's that's i'll show you i'll show you why that's disappointing in, in a few minutes all right so anyway let me show you what comes inside the box Dun -dun -dun. try not to make this too long guys nice instruction booklet and pretty much i've already looked at this uh, very similar to the to the first kit, so you guys building this, you'll recognize this as uh, very familiar. Um, everything is very similar. Now the engines, the way the engine, rear engines and tanks go together is slightly different, and that's that's why it's uh, Eagle Two, because uh, I guess the studio model was a uh, different configuration than 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 the first one they made. And the bottom of the eagle, let me zoom in here. The bottom of the eagle has a lot more parts to it than the first version, so that's pretty cool. So, a lot more details there. And here you see the pod module with the door separate. That's pretty cool. Um, how that goes together. And then everything else is pretty much the same as the original kit. Now, one thing is nice that they did here that they did not do in the Cargo Eagle is the fact that both in the Cargo Eagle and in the Laboratory Eagle, these smaller landing pads are shaped the same way as the larger ones. In the Cargo one, Cargo Eagle version, that uh, round two came out with, um, I guess, a few years ago. These are just, you know, 
squares. They don't have the little cutouts like here. So that I'm glad they they touched that up to to make that more more screen accurate. Okay, so put this over here. Here's the the parts, and pretty much I'm not going to take this all out because uh, for some reason every time I take out parts on a model, I always can't have problems putting it back in. But uh, here's the new. Uh, show you the newer parts right here. Um, parts of the laboratory pod. pod. Okay. And for some reason they didn't uh, they didn't wrap this up. They must have been in a hurry in the factory when they when they put this in here. But that's okay. I don't need it to be wrapped up. It's fine. Just the way that is. Um, the decal sheet. Now I will say that I'm a little disappointed with the decal sheet for a few reasons. Now just let I'll just give you the view here. Uh, let's look at this thing right here. Okay, now. There you see it's Eagle 2. Now in the second season, all the Eagle numbers had this sign up above them in the cabin, in the cockpit. Eagle, and then 2. In season 1, they were just playing the numbers. Now, the only one they give you with a white circle is 2. But, like I said, this is actually Eagle 4. So, I don't see when I have to work that out. Maybe, uh, maybe bright white background or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to figure that out. But it's the laboratory pod should have been Eagle Eagle Four, or at least give us one more decal, guys, that says Eagle Four, Eagle Two, Three, and Four, whatever the case may be. That would have been nice. Um, not just one configuration. Um, also, the other thing is the fact that this kit street price is about one hundred fifty dollars. The old kit is right now about 110 give or take, maybe plus shipping. Um, I know this is a new tool, and, and they redesigned, you know, they redesigned their rear engines and tanks, and they have the lab pod, so it's 150 bucks. But I wish, I wish they would have included a uh, a larger decal set, like um, the extra the extra decal set they they offered for the first version. And from my understanding, they stopped producing the first version, so. Guys, if anyone has pulled with uh, with round two, please ask them to come out, at least come out with a separate sheet of um, additional weathering decals for this kit. Um, so anyway, so that's that's the main eagle. And let me show you real quick here. Spine booster. This one actually seems like it's uh, pretty easy to do, and it's a lot thinner. Now, let me show you the box art. A lot thinner box than I thought it would be. Do that. And right back here shows you uh, where all the decals go. So that's pretty cool. Um, this kit, this one's about uh, 45, and that's fine. I don't mind that. This is a brand new, brand new tool. They've never done something like this before, so. Um, but it seems uh, pretty straightforward. Okay. We got that. It's just uh, one page, four sides. So, and it seems to just uh, basically just snap on the top of the spine booster of the of the eagle. So that's it. Um, here are the parts. You know, not. Uh, ooh, some metal parts there. Haven't even seen that yet. That's probably what uh, you anchor anchor it to the spine with. Um, one bag and small detail set with the um, there you go. So pretty cool. Okay, I cannot wait to start building this. Um, I cleared out my workbench. I finished up a few other models knowing that this was coming soon just so I can focus on this so this will be interesting now the main issue is what paint do I use okay so I'm planning on using hold on one guys hold on one second guys there is Ugh. 
Rustoleum. There's Blossom White, but more more likely, I've heard some of you guys tell me that Ivory Bisque is the eagle color to use. So I'm gonna take a risk, and I'm gonna use this and see how it comes out. I'll, what I'll do is I'll probably do the uh, the uh, cockpit first, the capsule. So I'll, I'll I'll spray that first and see how that comes out. But this Ivory Bisque from Rustoleum, uh, I'll use white primer first and then uh, sand it down and then use this so I, I'm gonna see if I can um, have the patience to uh, to put this on uh, several videos for you guys see show you my progress um, one thing I did not show you let me show you real quick here is uh, all the placement notations colors for Eagle 2 which is actually Eagle 4 <laughs> I'm gonna keep harping on that, uh, but anyway, we'll we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Let's see on this side. Okay, guys, and finally, ooh, that looks beautiful. Look at that. Now I don't know where all these extra decals come from because uh, they didn't include it. I don't think. Uh, maybe as I go through it, I'll, I'll figure it out. But I don't, I don't think they give us all these decals. So I'm hoping this means they're going to have a separate sheet available for purchase so they can uh, snag another 10 bucks from us. But that's fine. Hey, if uh, they keep producing stuff like this, that's fine with me. We'll, uh, I won't be the only one buying it. So, all right, guys. Until um, next time, keep an eye out for uh, my, my progress builds. Happy modeling.